five minutes. We'll do this. All right. Okay. So for SQL Workbench, when you ask to make a new diagram, so this is a new model. Okay, it's asking me to. This version is a very old version, so it can't do two um, two models at the same time. Can't do two diagrams at the same time. So anytime you ask it, it will bring you a model design. You can add a diagram. So it says, I'm making an ER diagram. It looks a lot like your schema design, but it said that here you are not going to work. type. Here you are going to be doing drag and drop. And here you'd also see the one to one, one to many, uh, those relationships. So hopefully this will get your mind onto that. So you click some of this. So this one is table. You can just leave your mouse on it to highlight or ask what it is. This is a table. So for example, um, this table currently has no information. If I double click it, it should give me, come on, it's supposed to give me my options. Yeah, I was supposed to just right, okay. Sorry, my PC seems to have slowed down. I didn't even have to right click. You can give your table its name. So for example, here, um, let me do student, right? And you realize the moment I clicked, it's giving me a primary key, right? I can do SID and the student has a name. You can specify also what? The sizes and types. You can double click. But you can see that it's very nicely what? Updating your diagram. Right? If you need to combine more than one thing for primary key, there are some columns here at the top. First one is primary key. So if I have more than one thing as primary key, I can select the two things. And you can see it does an icon very nicely next to whatever the primary key is. It looks a little bit like Microsoft Access. This is not now. I could say that now this uh, design doesn't require that one. There's unique, uh, there's binary, there's unsigned, zero fill, auto increment. So if you have a, a column that should be increasing automatically, maybe like primary key, make sure it's auto increment. Zero fill means if it's a number, it should be zero. Unsigned means if it's a number, don't allow any negative numbers. Right? That means unsigned, just as you have. Um, binary was for binary format, but I don't tend to use that a lot. So we have students. Let's add another table. Let me close uh, this one. I'm going to add another table. The other table I'm adding is the course. So double click. Okay. Yeah, double click should just do it. So I have a course. And for the course, I can specify the course ID, CID, and the name of the course. Right. Now, what I would like you to do, so what this um, assignment will do is it will also teach you some things about one-to-one, one-to-many, um, what's it called, many-to-many -many relationships, right? And I want you to try this. So there are a few of these lines here, right? One of them is one-to-one, -one, meaning that things are together. But if it's student-to-course, it's a what? A many-to-many -many relationship. That is, several students can be taking one course, or one course can be taken by several students. And I want you to observe what happens when I pick, these are all connectors, but if I pick the many to many connector. So clicking connect from, so I clicked it, you see the shape has changed into a connector. Click the first table, click the second table, and you can see it's done what? It's pulled the ID from both places and created what? The linking table. Right. So this were many to many. Not every single table is many to many. Some of it, it's going to be um, one to many or one to one. Right. But despite this, this is automatically, it's done this for me. But I could also have done this myself manually without having to rely on, so let me delete this one. I could have decided to put there, so that was automatic, right? He made it for me. But as a designer, even if it wasn't automatic, I can put in a table myself, double click the table, give it a name, that is student takes a course. This table was supposed to have two connections, I'm oh, sorry, one from the student ID and one from what? Uh, the course, the course ID, right? So I've started my table and then it's going to be a matter of, I'm going to do one to many, that is, sorry, from here to right here, meaning that this specific course instrument or course taking instrument, I'm getting an ID from students and I can also pick one to many and from here also to course. So you see, I've accomplished almost the same thing. All I need to do is double click on it and go and add in the PK. For this one, you will have to um, experiment a bit with the selectors. 
But either way, you realize I've accomplished the same thing in, with different routes. One, I picked many to many, click, clicked. I got a middle table. In the other, I did what, one by one. I put my table there, then I connected the table. So using the many to one, connect one table to another, connect one table to another. And they accomplish the same task. So there isn't one way to get your design. But eventually, we expect that most designs at least will have similar concepts. So thank you very much for this course. Try your workbench and get Daya. And I'll send an email about Daya online. Just save us. When you save it this way, you're going to have a specific MWB, which is a Microsoft Workbench. But you also have to export for me as what? A PNG. So the, the menu looks similar. You file, you can save or export. You can get the image. So this is one of the diagrams. You are supposed to use for so the, the diagram is for the ER, right? The ER, which has the diamonds and the shapes. But this one doesn't have diamonds and shapes. Here for this one, you actually do tables. So for design, if you are working, usually you do a high level ER. Show it to them; they are happy. You come to this one, and based on the ER that you have. You will find it to be tables. Okay, so we are also good. Okay, so all that I have to send to you is a marketing tool so you can start. So let me. Uh, I think I recorded too much.